Hey everyone, okay, so I wanted to pay tribute to Mel Thompson. Um, it's one of those videos where you don't know how to start or proceed or even end the video. I was actually away when I found out or when I was told that Mel had passed away and I'm back, just back, so I wanted to film this video. It is just surreal and horrifying and reality all at the same time about this situation. I, um, I met Mel five or six years ago over the internet and my friendship with her and my love and respect for her grew from our online meeting and it was a wonderful thing. I think a lot of people do know, but it's worth pointing out that Mel was a very kind person and always trying to do something for somebody else. And oftentimes, and more often than not, she was doing things for people, incredible acts of kindness that you are completely unaware of because it wasn't in her nature to speak of them. And that is the kind of person that she is, that she was. And it was partly that nature that drew me to her because she was such a kind person and she was so incredibly kind to me. Brianna did a wonderful, wonderful video and tribute to her and I will link that in this video because she really did pay tribute to her in the most incredible way and it's worthwhile to watch that video, very much so. It's, it's funny because on my channel I really make a point of speaking about the aging process and how lucky we are to be growing older and a lot of people fear it and a lot of people don't understand that there are so many people that will never make the age that you are today and growing old is a gift and something we shouldn't fear that we should embrace and be grateful of and all that comes with it the wrinkles everything don't fear it because so many people aren't here today and they their families want them to be here, and they're not. And growing old is a gift and nothing to be feared because life is so short. You know, when people are taken from us at such young ages, in any age, you realize how incredibly precious life is and how what a wonderful gift it is to be here, to see our family, to see our friends, to see our loved ones, to see the sky. Things that we will desperately miss and other people will miss when we're not here. It's, um, I have all this stuff in my head that I want to say and I don't know how to say it. Does that make sense? It is an incredibly hard video to film because I'm still coming to terms with what's happened and it must be noted that no matter how I'm feeling about this situation, which is obviously incredible horror of what's happened. But no matter how bad I'm feeling, it's nothing compared to how her family are feeling and her children and her husband and her parents and her loved ones. And it's just the most awful, awful dream that I wish were untrue. The last couple of conversations I had with Mel, and they're always such delightful ones. I spoke to her um, around about a week before her passing and she's such an upbeat, joyous person. She really was. Um, and we were just talking about makeup and things like that. And we were discussing that she wanted to do, she was thinking of doing a line of makeup pencils. And I just thought it was the most wonderful idea for her to do that, for it to be her brand and for her to build this incredible line that she was going to do. Because I knew that she was going to do that and I knew that she was going to succeed in it. Um, and that was one of the last conversations verbally I had with her. It's worth noting, and I, I think, and I want to note it this way because it just goes to show exactly what kind of person she really is. After she passed, um, her, I reached out to her husband and her husband responded to me. And he said that the video that was posted that she did, because Mel was in my videos on launches, she was in them and she was incredible. And after 
I would splice in the footage that Mel would send and Brianna would send. Um, they would obviously post their own videos. And her husband reached out and said that um, she asked him to post the video because she was too unwell to post it. And she wanted to make sure that it went out. And that is the kind of person that she was. Her, um, to help, to be who she is, to be kind. And that's what she did. She was too unwell to post it and she had her husband post it for her. And um, yeah, it's hard to say on video. Grieving is a very strange thing. Some people need to do it publicly. I do not. I love Mel very much and her passing is horrifying to me because she was lovely and I wish more than anything that she was still here. Brianna, because she is so lovely, set up a GoFundMe page. I will put a link here. The GoFundMe will go directly to her family, her husband and her children to help them. If you can, it would be wonderful if you could donate anything to it. And as Brianna mentioned in her video, keeping her channel active is very important commenting on the videos, liking the videos, watching the videos, this will all help. The channel is still going to stay up. And by doing that and remembering to do that is a really, really nice gift that you can give because it will enable her family to keep earning off the revenue from YouTube. And that will help some way financially, at least, if nothing else. Mel's artistry was so far superior to mine. She was an incredible makeup artist, an incredible spirit, an incredibly kind person. And that showed in all her videos, it really did. I hope that this completely useless video is some way a tribute to her because I'm not one to, I find this kind of conversation incredibly difficult because it's a Grief, very personal thing, and we all deal with it differently. But I miss her, and I wish that she were here. And she was such a good person, and I know I keep saying this, but she was a really good person. She was a better person than me. She was a wonderful person, pure of heart. And her legacy and her spirit will live on. The videos, are a tribute to her amazing gift and talent to us all, us, all of us in the beauty community, and they are there immortalized forever. And that is in itself a wonderful thing. Please check out the links that I mentioned, Brianna's video is lovely, the GoFundMe, and please support Mel's page because it will help go a little way to helping to support her family. My thoughts, and prayers are with her husband and her children and her family. And I truly hope they are okay. Thank you for watching. Sorry, I'm not always very eloquent with these kind of things, but please don't assume that my feelings for Mel are anything less than pure because I loved her incredibly much. And I thank you for your time. So I wanted to add this bit in quickly because I was re-watching Mel's video and it then reminded me of something. So the last video that Mel did for me was on one of my palettes and there's this really cool bit during the video where she's using the eyeshadow and she's highlighting the tip of her nose. Now everybody knows that that's my least favorite thing to do on someone is to highlight the tip of the nose. And she highlights the tip of her nose and then pokes her tongue out. And I truly like to think that she's doing that to me because she knows full well that I am not a fan of that trend. And as she's doing it, she just pokes her tongue out. And I like to think that that was aimed at me and that makes me happy. And I wanted to add that bit in.
Thank you.